Hi, I'm Lois from Nancy's Notions, and today I'm going to show you the 5-in-1 sliding gauge. These tools are so great I have more than one. I actually have one at my sewing machine, I have one at my ironing board, and I also have one in my traveling bag. They are each exactly 5 8 inches wide, which is perfect to check your seam allowances on your garments. Also, each of these columns on both lengths are exactly a quarter of an inch, so you can check your seams also on your quilt seams. You can do numerous different things with these, and I'll show you how they all work. First, your slider moves up and down. You push on the button here where it says push, and now you can take the arm and move it up, and you can get whatever dimension or hem width, whatever you want. I would like to make an 8 inch circle. So now I have cut a square fabric about 10 inches so I have got some little wiggle room. I am going to take at the one end, you can see there's a circle here and there's a little hole in it. And I'm going to put a pin in that and near the center of my square. At the other end, I have slid my slider down to 4 inches because I can only go half that distance so 4 and 4 is going to give you an 8 inch circle. Take my marking pen, and in the green part, there's a little hole here. And now, I'm just going to go right around the circle, and there's my circle. This gauge is also great for putting in hems, and I need to have a nice even width. So I'm going to set my gauge at an inch and a half, and now I'm going to lay it on my fabric. And I have to scoot back just a little bit. I got too much. There we go. And then I can take my pins, I can pin it as I go along. So then I'll scoot down and I'll make sure it's okay again. And I'll put in another pin. So you can see how you can have those perfect hems. And with the different gauges, I can go from a 6 inch hem up to 11 inch hem because you've got the two sizes of this gauge. Uh, you want to make a garment, you always want to have your pieces on grain. You also have this grain line on your pattern. If you don't have your garment on grain, it's going to hang on your body crooked. So first of all, before we cut it out, we need to put it on grain. So I've got my gauge on here, and I've got it lined up, and I'm going to come out to the edge of my fabric, and I can slide over, and I can see that one looks pretty good, and now I'm going to go down to the other end, and I'm off. So I'm going to move it out a little bit. And I can do a little bit of pivoting here. There we go. And now I have it right out to the edge of my fabric. And I'm going to come back and double check and make sure this didn't want to move. And that one looks good. So I now have it on grain. And you can pin your pattern to your fabric. The sliding gauge is also handy for checking your 5 8 seam allowance. I can lay down my pattern here because it's multi-sized. And I can lay it down and I can just see where my 5 8 is going to be. And I can double check my garment once I sew it also. This tool is also great for the quilters that want to make quarter square triangles. You always have to draw that line from corner to corner. So now you can take your gauge and you're going to center it from corner to corner. And I can actually see the, my corners come through the slit that's in the middle. And now I'm going to take my pen and I'm just going to go right down the middle and mark it. There we go. Now, if you don't have the quarter inch foot, you can also put in your uh, stitching line because remember, these columns are exactly a quarter of an inch. So now I'm going to draw right along the edges here. There you go. Ta da! There you are. So now you've got your cutting line for after a while, but you also have your stitching lines you want to check your quarter inch seam allowance to see if it's correct or if you need to move your needle left or right to get that quarter inch. You can, because these columns on the 5 and one gauge is an qu exact quarter inch, so you can lay this on your seam and I can just see my stitching through it. I'm right on the edge, so I know I have that perfect quarter inch seam allowance. But if I want a scant quarter inch or if it's not the right width, I can now go to my machine and move my needle left or right to get that exact quarter inch. As you can see, I showed you a few of the things you can use your 5-in-1 sliding gauge for. And now you know, too, why I have so many of them, because they are so handy to do all this measuring. I'm sure once you get one, you'll even find other examples you can use these rulers for. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, click the Like button or leave us a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.
this is the neatest tool you want. This is as great as a when they no, I'm not saying it right. It's just as good as what they had um, when they invented sliced bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by yeah, yeah. 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 I'm good. Nancy's trick. <laughs> <laughs>